Hello. Um, let me show you quickly how you can evaluate your credentials using World Education Services. I prefer World Education Services always because uh, like you know, with the NCAS process, um, they've given us options we can choose from to evaluate our credentials. And one of them would be the World Education Services. And uh, one good thing about it is it costs 213 Canadian dollars and you get your reports in seven days after you've submitted all of the requirements. There's also the comparative education services, 149 Canadian dollars. It takes longer, six weeks. ICAS takes even 10 to 12 weeks, although it's cost is cheaper, 120 Canadian dollars. The ICES costs 230 dollars, Canadian dollars, and that's NAS, which we are thanking God that yeah, we have options because NAS used to cost 650 US dollars. And again, it took 12 weeks before you got your report. So for me, I like Quest because of the, the, the seven days uh, time frame. So again, these are all of your websites. You can visit any of them, whichever you choose you want to go with. But let me show you how you can create an account on um, the World Education Services. So we're going to scroll down and click Get Started. Okay, so it's asking where you're going to use your evaluation. So again, depending on what you want to use it for. So I'm going to click Canada. And then I want a standard application. If you're using it for immigration purposes and you want to do an ECA for IRCC, but again, I want a standard application for licensure and employment purposes. So I'm going to click start application. It's going to ask me my email. So I'm just going to choose, uh, let me use an email. Okay, let me use a... Okay, and I'm going to click next. So they're going to send me a code. Now I have to go back to my email account and um, hopefully the code arrives and I will be able to just pick that and uh, continue. Okay, so there it is. You go to your email and you want to pick that code. I'm going to get that code over here. I'm going to put it in here and submit, click submit code. Okay, so it says my email has been verified. And now I'll need to provide my details. So I'm just going to use uh, your first given name. Okay, Peter. Middle name is optional. Last name. Uh, be your date of birth. So you want to use uh, something you can remember. Uh, okay. I want to choose something I can remember. Okay, so that's that. You have a West reference number, no. So that's my email. They're asking me to create a password. So I'm going to quickly do that. Um, again, you want to duplicate the password and make sure it's studies. So you're asking me for a security. What's my pet's name? Okay, well, I like to subscribe and all of that, and I'll click create accounts. So once we're done with this first stage, okay, so this is just for their own uh, personal information. How did you hear about where's? Okay, so this is all there. My gender will be man. Okay, so I'm gonna put my um Nigeria and then I'm going to put my phone number okay, okay and I'm going to click next so what's the primary purpose of this evaluation so again I want to select professional licensure or certification again you want to choose what's um, suits the purpose while you're requesting for this. So select licensure type. I'm going to go to nursing. Select licensure state. Remember, we are working with um, British Columbia. So I'm going to select British Columbia. And I'm going to click next. Okay, so at this point, you want to add uh, your credentials. <laughs> So now we want to add our credentials. They're asking what credentials have you earned. So I'm going to click add credentials. Okay, so it's going to be Nigeria. 
type of education, uh, university education, name of the institution. I'm going to put uh, University of Calabar, uh, name of the diploma certificates. It's a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science, Science, uh, Bachelor of Science. I can't see one in nothing. Your first name, remember we already used Peter. Last name, OB. Field of studies, although it's optional, it's still nothing. Yeah, awarded, uh, say 2010. And then we attended from, um, was a long one, so let me say 2005 to 2010. I'm going to click save. Okay, so I could, I could add other credentials, but I just want to go with only that. And I'm going to click next. So who is the recipient? So one will be you, and this will be sent, it's, include, it's part of the cost. Your own copy is included in the cost, and it will be sent to an address you add. So I'm going to quickly put in an address there. Sorry about that. Okay, so I've imputed that. I'm going to click a delivery method. So you can choose how you want the report delivered to you. And I'm going to click save. Okay, so I've added my address. They're asking which institution will receive your report. Um, so I'm going to click add the institution. Uh, enter the institution's name. So let's say British Columbia. British. Okay, so let me do that. Let me search and see. Okay, we have British Columbia College of Nursing Professionals. I want to be sure we don't have something different. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to go with British Columbia College of Nursing Professionals. Let me see, College of Registered Nurses. Okay, so I have a College of Registered Nurses of British Columbia. Uh, I don't think they've up, up, updated the, the name on this, but again, this will be the closest College of Registered Nurses of British Columbia. So I'm going to go with that. So your transcript will be delivered electronically to them. Uh, so I'm going to say add this address. Okay, so if I have, I have it added there, I'm going to click next. Okay, we're going to scroll down. And these are all what we'll be getting. Uh, so authenticated transcript will be stored and sent to the institution. So this is recommended and you want to pay 260, but if you don't want that option, you can pay $223. Uh, so I'm going to select this. I'm going to click next. Okay, so I want to, look at everything I've put in. So that's the document I want to evaluate. Uh, so they're telling me uh, what I need to do. So you want to ask your institution to send your document directly to Wes in a sealed envelope that is signed or stamped across the back flap. Or you can have the institution give you the document and you send it to Wes in a sealed envelope. Uh, if the document is open or there's no stamp, uh, they would not accept it. Or you can use ETXNG uh, to send the document electronically. Uh, so you want to confirm if your school has partnered uh, with ETXNG uh, so they can use that uh, option to send your documents. Again, it, the transcript must accurately list your name, date of birth, and matriculation number. Again, you would also need to upload a clear and legible copy of your degree certificate. Uh, go to your account and upload that document. And uh, that's that. So we can click next. I want to review all of our information and make sure everything is fine. Uh, then we want to click acknowledge, uh, certify, you have read all of this. And then we want to click next. Okay, I confirm the date of birth listed and all of that. I'm gonna click next. Okay, I'm not a resident of Canada. 
I'm going to click continue. And a bill comes up to 314. Uh, this should be Canadian dollars. Okay, so how do we want to pay? I want to use our credit card and then we want to click submit. So once we are done with the payment, we're going to put in our card details. We're going to click submit payment and then we can log into our account. So I'm going to uh, put in my card details and make that payment in just a few minutes. Okay, so I'm done with the payment and my application has been processed. Uh, so again, remember, uh, you could upgrade your report in case you've done this previously and you want to use it for British Columbia. There might be informations, uh, there might be extra informations they might be requesting. So you can still come back here to upgrade the report so that it suits what the British Columbia uh, Board of Nursing is requesting. Again, you can add your CV to your West account. So that's my, my order has been completed. You can see it's your cost by cost evaluation. Initial application order is complete and they've sent copies of the evaluation report to the recipients that I put. So you can also order a duplicate copy or you can even view the electronic report. So this is what uh, a sample uh, West report would look like. So that's what it would look like. So that's your copy. And that's basically how you want to um, apply on the World Education Services.